Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could happen at any time in the near future, and not every reading is for you. So let's just see what comes up. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? One, 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 and unrequited love. So, one, one, one is a number of independence. It is instant manifestation. Your thoughts become things. Uh, so, something is manifesting right now. You are manifesting something. Um, there is an unrequited love situation as well. So, it feels as though, I mean, we have a dog and a cat. This, 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 this cat loves this dog. The dog is not reciprocating. The dog doesn't want to have anything to do about it. Do with it. Okay, I don't want to have anything to do with it. So, I think that we have somebody here that really needs to pay attention to their thoughts. It's a very, one is a very intuitive number as well. So, really listen to your thoughts at this time. Um, some of you may be, be becoming independent or you are independent. You are obviously dealing with somebody that is not reciprocating and you really need to, um, it feels like you need to know your value. One is a singular number. Even though this is three ones, it's about you. It's about yourself. It's about independence. Um, really pay attention to your thoughts, okay? Pay attention to what you are manifesting. Some of you are probably thinking about somebody that isn't interested and you need to uh, choose your thoughts wisely. Would you rather have somebody that is interested or somebody that isn't? Okay, I feel like um, you're highly intuitive at this time and I feel like you know that you are dealing with somebody that isn't interested, but you may be ignoring it. So, um, <laughs> ooh, big heart, big, huge heart here. Maybe you're in love with this person. We have somebody here that has a big, huge heart, and maybe maybe you need to take care of your own heart. This is a number one is a number of self. Maybe you need to love yourself. Maybe there's self love that is needed. Skilled player, Scorpio. You're dealing with a, a player. You're dealing with a very, very skilled player by the looks of things. This person um, has been playing this game for a long time. They probably know how to cheat. They know how to get around things. Um, this person is very cunning, very coy, um, very, very tricky. Uh, knows how to play all the cards. Plays the cards just where they need to be played to make sure that they get what they want. And I feel like they probably see your big heart. They see it. They see it very, very, very clearly. And that's, it's sad. It is sad when somebody plays with your heart. I do feel like there is somebody that is playing with your heart. And I think that you know it. I do. Aquarius is a, is is a, is about freedom. It is about change. Okay, I feel like uh, it's time for a change. It's time for you to evolve out of this unrequited love situation. Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. They have done this before and they will continue to do so. So you are definitely dealing with a player, like I said a few minutes ago, that has done this before. They, I said it before this card came out. You are dealing with somebody who flies by the seat of their pants. 
this person changes their situation. They change their mind very, very frequently. They are um, back and forth quite a bit. This person um, is is uh, a player. You're dealing with a player, okay? And I and I feel I feel like you are probably struggling to. Uh, accept the truth about whoever this is that you're dealing with. I feel like it's really, really time for you to evolve. I see evolution. If you think it's an Aquarius and Sagittarius, okay, Aquarius to me is ruled by Uranus and Saturn and Sagittarius. Um, if when I think about Sagittarius, I always think about the Temperance card. So these are both cards of evolution to me. So I think it is time for you to evolve. It's time for you to accept change, accept that something is unrequited love. I feel like your big heart is getting in the way. I feel like you have a lot of passion. You have a lot of desire to make something work with somebody. It's almost like you're infatuated with somebody who is who is playing with you. And I feel like this week you need to really open up your eyes. Ones are also a number of um, awakening. This is a wake-up call. It is a wake-up call. It's time for you to wake up. You really need to wake up. It's time for you to change and set your sights higher. Okay? Know your value. Know your worth. You don't need to be played. You're, you're being played like a fiddle by somebody. You really are. This person knows what they are doing. They have done it. They are skilled. This person um, has learned all the tricks. So I feel like this is going to be a week where you really need to pay attention to what is happening. Pay attention to the signs. You may be getting some sort of intuitive nudge or you may be getting a message from somebody or something that, that tells you that you're dealing with a player. Ooh, look at that. The tower. So there is probably going to be an event. There is going to be some sort of event that changes everything. This is light being shed. This is a necessary evil. This is a major dismantling of a false sense of security. Light being shed on a situation, a major life change. There's probably going to be a fight or an explosion or... Um, I don't know if there's a breakup or a breakdown or a disaster or something like that. I do believe that we have a foundation that is uh, not stable and there is about to be some sort of major shakeup. I feel, I feel like you know that it's coming. I feel like you've been in some sort of denial. I feel like your big heart has gotten in the way. I think that uh, you need to stop playing because you're never going to win. I'm sorry. I mean, I hate to say that. I think you're you're playing against somebody who is very deceptive. Oh, this is starting with a clean slate. It is a necessary evil. What do we have for Scorpio? We have a foundation that is about to crumble. I feel like there's going to be a, a fight or a disturbance, a major disturbance. I feel like things are going to explode. Something is going to explode. It has to do with, maybe it has to do with your home could also have to do with your work. It's time to go someplace else. But I feel like we have somebody here that is in denial and they won't leave. Page of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. So this is positive change. Page of Cups is typically good news. It's emotional. There is some sort of freedom here. 
we have somebody here that is going to be expressing their feelings and their feelings are going to cause a change this is a destined change of course this is also a completion so there's going to be a completion here you're going to be experiencing a completion it's going to be emotional this is some sort of freedom from an unrequited love situation This is the end of a chapter with a player, somebody who who really is quite, quite skilled, quite tri tricky. This is a trickster. Nine of Cups, very arrogant. This is a card of wish fulfillment, right? You may have thought this person was your dream come true. This person is uh, very, very satisfied, extremely satisfied with what they have, with what they've done extremely satisfied they are so happy whoever you are dealing with whoever this player is they're on cloud nine they're like ha 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 they are you're dealing with somebody who is very uh, happy that they have won or very happy that they have you wrapped around their finger this person is living the good life. They have a lot of confidence. They are emotionally fulfilled. Whoever this player is, this player that you're dealing with is very happy with, their, with who they are. This is somebody that is very arrogant and smug. They're living the high life. They are. And I feel like you're you I feel like you are having a hard time completing a tra a chapter with this person. There's some sort of uh I feel like there's some sort of um well obviously you have feelings for this person, big 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 feelings. I feel like there's also a sexual attraction to this person. But there is time for it. It is time for a change. You deserve reciprocation. You don't deserve to be in an unrequited love situation. An unrequited love doesn't have to be with a lover. It could be the mother. It could be the father. It could be the friend. A fa uh, anybody. There is going to be a change in circumstances here. I think it's going to be an emotional change. I feel like we have somebody here that it is a very, very... Uh, what's the word for it? egotistical this person is egotistical they're smug they're satisfied they're like ha 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 they're laughing about it they're sitting back and they're laughing they're just enjoying who they are they don't care that well that unrequited love card right here they don't they don't care about your needs they don't care what you want this person is a dog. Anyhow, I feel like this week there is definitely going to be some sort of event, okay? Um, a faded event. We had the tower, now we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is a destined change of course. I believe that you are... Maybe this person expresses their feelings or you express their, your feelings towards this person and they become combative. They, you know, they, they be defensive, but that's Sagittarius, that's defense. You know, they get on the defensive. You may end up defending yourself against this person. You may be put on guard. You may be putting your defenses up. I do believe there's going to be an expression of love and I feel like it gets shut down. Ooh, Ten of Cups reversed. I told you it gets shut down. 
Ten of Cups reversed is a breakup, a separation, no relationship, uh, no happily ever after, relationship problems, this is a dying dream. I, you know, I feel like this this week you're going to receive some news. You may try to communicate with somebody or vice versa. This reading can go vice versa and there's going to be some sort of uh, setback. It's going to be a shock. Okay, the, the tower is a shock. You may be receiving, you know, a shocking uh, truth of some sort. I do believe that uh, this week is all about your independence. It's all about what you've been trying to manifest. And I think you're about to get some sort of wake-up call about whoever this player is that you're playing with. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who really doesn't want to have a relationship. They don't want to invest in a relationship. And I feel like the relationship is coming to an end or it has already ended. You know, the Ten of the, the ten of Cups next to the Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is a destined change, of course. This is out of getting out of a relationship, not wanting, not focusing on a relationship. You're dealing with a player who likes to play games. So if you're dealing with a player that's not really focused on a relationship, then why are you dealing with it? Why are you playing? Why are you trying to get somebody's attention that doesn't care? This person doesn't care. So anyway, I feel like there's going to be a change of heart because this is a change and this is heart. They're, and they're marrying each other about a relationship because I feel like there's going to be a shutdown. I feel like somebody tries to communicate or express their feelings or have an emotional conversation with an individual that causes, puts this person, puts their guard up, they put their defenses up and you know, that's a wake up call. So I do believe there, there could be some sort of, this is the seven of coins is, um, short lived success. So I believe that there may have been some immediate success with this person, but it's over. This is a dead end. It's time to go someplace else. So that could be the revelation that you're getting. I feel like you're going to be getting some messages or some thoughts, perhaps, that it's time to go someplace. There's no more growth here. You know, this is a dead end. And I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you've had some short-lived success, but it is definitely time to plant your seeds someplace else. And you're going to get some sort of um, oh, intuitive thoughts or messages or something that gives you the clarity that you need, hopefully, to stop investing in this dead end. Um, I feel like this week, you, you know, you may, this skilled player may even laugh at you. It feels like they could laugh at you. They, they, it's like they uh, make jokes on your behalf. That's how I feel. I feel like you've got somebody here that is a complete joker. This person is just like, ha, 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 you know, and I think that you probably are going to feel it. You're going to feel the, uh, I think it's going to affect your heart. I think that this may pull at your heart strings when this, I feel like there's a rejection here, honestly. Um... I feel as though you, for some of you, let me change this up a little bit, for some of you, there is somebody here that has a really big heart that has been in an unrequited love situation. There could be a new offer of love coming in. This is a change. This is a change. This one is too. So there is, and this one is too. There's a destined change here. So there is a change. And somebody could be getting into a brand new relationship. Dream coming true. Okay. A dream could be coming true. A wish being fulfilled. This is a wish being granted. You, some of you may be wishing for freedom. You may be wishing to be broken free from somebody that you don't love. That could happen this week. There is definitely going to be a universal change with the Tower card and the Wheel of Fortune. There is, there is probably some sort of emotional news that is coming in that does have to do with a relationship that is unrequited love. And it could be this is, and it could make you very, very, very happy. You may become happy over this news that arrives. Um, somebody could be broken free from an unrequited love situation. Um, whatever is happening, this is definitely positive change with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, this is positive change. It is good luck. It is luck is on your side. So 
I feel like you you may maybe you don't see it as being lucky for some of you you may not see it as being lucky but I feel like um, everything happens for a reason everything happens for a purpose I think your life is moving in a new direction and I think it's a very positive direction some of you are going to be uh, receiving an offer of love from, a, from an Aquarius or a Sagittarius if you do I would it could also be a water sign Pisces Cancer Scorpio uh, if you do receive an offer of love from this person I would say that this is probably meant to be I would say to take it take it I do feel like you have been um, stood up or played by somebody in the past. This person is sitting back and they are enjoying their life. Stop wasting the, your time on them, okay? Stop wasting your time on them. I feel, I feel like you need to let go of that relationship because you have a destined... Uh, maybe this is a destined meetup. So you could, some of you could meet somebody at the right place at the right time and you don't even see it coming. You may have a conversation with somebody spontaneously and it leads to a relationship. Anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of emotional news that is coming that is going to change your direction this week. All right. This is absolutely something that you probably asked for. Maybe you were asking for love. You know, this is this is manifesting. This is your thoughts, and this is uh, wish fulfillment. This is prayers, and this is love. If you and the universe answers in mysterious ways, sometimes they protect you from something that doesn't serve you and bring you something better. And if you think about the Temperance card, that's what the Temperance card is about. It's exchanging something lesser for something better. So maybe you're getting something, somebody that it has a really big heart after you have been played by a player. Anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of expression here that is going to change your, your, your cycle. It's going to change your destination. So get prepared for that because this is a destined change, of course. This is the end of one chapter in the beginning of a new one. This is life that is always changing. Okay, so your life is about to change and it is going to be an emotional change. And I feel like it's time. It's time. Sagittarius, if you think about temperance, that's divine timing. It's time. It's time for your wish to be granted, but it's probably not going to be granted in the way that you expected. So I feel like this week is a big week of change. I think that you have been involved in a false sense of security and you've had a hard time uh, letting go of it with well, the universe with that tower card is here to force a change they may put you in front of somebody that um, is not your usual type but this is a perfect match and I don't need the lover's card to say that um, you may not even be looking for a relationship some of you are single that's a very independent number you're not looking for a relationship you're at the right place at the right time and sparks fly and I don't even need the wands because this is sparks I, I just feel like there's something big that is happening here um, you do have um, a major change here we have the end of one relationship where you were played and I feel like they are answering your prayers in another way Something very fortunate and emotionally fulfilling is coming. But you will be experiencing some sort of breakdown because of the tower before you get there. You have to remove yourself from the false sense of security first. And I think the universe is going to like push you out. It's almost like you get pushed out of it. You know, you, you get thrown out of it. Because of some sort of, uh, I mean, this person, whoever this player is that you've been dealing with starts laughing at you and that's your eye opener. Anyhow, good luck.